2024 right around the corner. And with that, the much anticipated release of the 2024 NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Schedule. Joining me here on Dirt Vision to go over that schedule, of course, the voice of the series, Johnny Gibson. And Johnny, looking at it here, we knew, of course, there was going to be a lot of dates, but it's so cool to see some new venues being re-added to the schedule, some big money on the lines. But something that we can continue to expect is kicking off the season at Volusia Speedway Park, of course, for Dirt Car Nationals, hanging out down there for a little while, of course, for during the bike week. But Volusia, Florida as a whole, always a great place to kick off the season. Yeah, definitely. Looking forward to Florida in February and a little bit of a twist for 2024 in that instead of three nights of World of Outlaws action during the Dirt Car Nationals, we expand to four for the greatest show on dirt. So four big nights to kick off the season during Dirt Car Nationals at Volusia Speedway Park. A couple of weeks off and then we come right back to Volusia during Bike Week for a Sunday and Monday spectacular there. And of course, busy all through the month of March, but looking something that caught my eye at the tail end of March, a somewhat new venue here to the NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car schedule. That being Thunderbird, of course, can uh, buddied up with 81 Speedway as well. Yeah, Thunderbird Raceway in Muskogee, Oklahoma, hosting the World of Outlaws for the first time. A big track, nearly a half mile. Looking forward to going there for the first time. I've heard some great things from the uh, 360s that have raced there. And then, of course, we're also going to venture to Arrowhead Raceway, formerly West Siloam Springs. And they've done a fantastic job of revamping that facility, a total makeover. And it looks to be one of the most spectacular facilities we'll visit in 2024. Yeah, of course, Arrowhead being that first weekend of April, coupled up with US 36. Arrowhead also on the World of Outlaw case construction late model schedule as well. So cool to see two Premier Series visiting that venue here in 2024. Another new track, something that, again, we're familiar with here on the late model side now, is Paducah, Kentucky, mid-April. Uh, it, it was an exciting race for us. I'm very excited to see the sprint cars there as well. Yeah, a former regular stop for the greatest show on dirt. It's disappeared from the schedule for a few years. Certainly looking forward to going back to the high banks at Paducah. International Raceway. We're going to pair that up with a visit to the Tri-State Speedway in Hobstead, Indiana. Always one of the most exciting venues the series visits. And of course, you see regular stops following that. Stops like Knoxville, of course, Jacksonville, Eldora, Lincoln. And then we get into that mid-May portion where we head into the PA Ohio Swing and we kind of hang out there for a while for racetracks like Williams Grove, Attica, Sharon, and of course, the two-day show, Johnny at Atomic. Yeah, Atomic Speedway, one of my favorites. Charlie Vest and the guys down there do a fantastic job. They've expanded the facility, new camping, bigger parking lot, and they've done a great job improving that racetrack. So we'll be there for two days, the Friday and Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. And then the Monday of Memorial Day weekend sees us return to another venue that's been absent for multiple years, a return to the Fremont Speedway. And of course, Fremont doubled up on that race weekend with a double header at Beaver Dam, a facility that I've now been honored to go uh, actually work with you guys on the sprint car side. A great race, a great facility. The fans there as well in Wisconsin continue to show up before you guys head over to the Dakotas. You've got Grand Forks and Ogilvy, Knoxville, and then the much anticipated Hussett's High Bank Nationals. Big money on the line, plenty of nights of racing. I know race fans across all platforms always have Hussett circled on a race weekend to watch. Absolutely. Four big nights at Houston's. The Houston's High Bank Hustle with $100,000 to win there on Thursday night. And then Friday and Saturday, the Billion Auto Houston's High Bank Nationals with that $250,000 top prize. Huge money. Biggest event on our schedule as far as winners' purses are concerned. And then, of course, headed to Cedar Lake after that for the last week of June. And then something interesting that drew my eye here on this schedule, Johnny, is Actually, big three three letters. It says OFF, O-F-F, -F, and it is 4th of July weekend for the NOS Energy Drink Sprint Cards. It's been a while since we've kind of seen a mid-season, mid-summer break like that for the Outlaw teams. I know probably teams, drivers, announcers, everyone looking forward to maybe potentially having that weekend off. Yeah, definitely. A chance for the drivers for the greatest show on dirt who have just been through a rugged portion of the schedule to take some time to revamp and prepare for some of the biggest races of the year right after that break. And that is a great segue into some of those big races. After they come off that 4th of July, you've got Wilmot. And then, of course, Attica. And then Eldora, where we head into the night before Kings Royal. Uh, you, like you mentioned, Johnny, this could possibly be a great opportunity for these guys to take that well-needed mental break to prep up for one of the biggest races of the season at Eldora. Yeah, basically, when we come back from that 4th of July weekend off, we head into the month of money. You mentioned the, the Brad Doty Classic, Kings Royal Week, the Summer Nationals at Williams Grove, followed by a quick overnight jaunt up to New York, to the Weed Sports Speedway, back to Peevely for the Ironman, and then, of course, the granddaddy of them all, the NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals.
and Knoxville Nationals. It was my first chance to go there this past year. An absolutely incredible event that, I mean, I don't care if you're a late model fan, a big block fan, a pavement fan. You've got to get yourself to Knoxville Nationals at least one time to experience the racing experience, uh, the atmosphere, the extracurriculars that come with it. So, of course, Knoxville Nationals, August 7th through the 10th. Then it can go over to Jackson, back up into the Dakotas for Grand Forks. And then, you know, we, we make another trip to Houston before heading out west, before we'll see racetracks like Stock in Hanford, Bakersfield, and then, of course, Tulare uh, for a big race out there for the Dennis Ross Classic. Yeah, the Dennis Roth Classic at Thunderbolt Raceway in Tulare, California, paying $83,000 to the winner. Biggest race on the West Coast swing, so looking forward to returning to Tulare after an absence there. And then, of course, we'll go back out to the Midwest with a Wayne County visit, uh, Sharon as well, Williams Grove, Sealands Grove, and then, of course, Route 66 Raceway out at Juliet. We've got two special races there as well. Again, it's been a few years since we've been to Route 66 Raceway. That facility revamped now, no longer a big half mile, a smaller race facility. And Riverside Speedway in West Memphis, Arkansas, affectionately known as the Ditch. First time in multiple years we've been there. And it's going to be a two-night show on the Gumbo Quarter Mile there. And that double header scheduled for October 25th and 26th. Crazy to think we're already at that October portion of the schedule because, well, after that October portion, we get a weekend or so off. And then all dirt roads, Johnny, of course, leading into World Final. We saw a great World Finals this past season, uh, which seems like it was just yesterday, and we're getting ready to kick off 2024. But always great to be able to crown our champion here in Charlotte. Yeah, definitely. And, of course, three huge features there just a couple of weeks ago. We look forward to more spectacular action like we saw there just a couple of weeks ago to wrap up what should be an absolutely amazing 2024 season for the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. And, of course, you can catch it all right here on Dirt Vision. Just two months away before we see the World of Outlaw NOS Energy Drink Sprint Cars back in action at Dirt Car Nationals down at Volusia. Johnny, thank you so much. We'll see you in Florida in just a couple months.